besides Richmond Elite Tackle. So one of the most common questions that we ask on a regular basis is, what's the best way to rig my lure, being my popper, my stick bait, my slow pitch jig, or my long drop jig? So you know what, I thought I'd put together a little video for you guys to see exactly how I rig these particular lures. In this next video, I'm gonna run through with you some very popular rigging methods for all the different sorts of lures, poppers, stick baits, and jigs that are not only used by many of my customers from all over the world, but also too could be the 1% difference that it can make for you to keep connected to that big trophy fish. Please enjoy. Okay, so what I want to talk to you about here is one of the best ways and simplest ways to rig up uh, long drop jigs that you would traditionally use for targeting pelagic fish, midwater fish like um, dogtooth tuna, your Spanish mackerel, kingfish, amberjack, things like that. So let's just go through that with um, how I would do it. Something that we've learnt over the years for targeting these big pelagic fish, especially dogtooth tuna, is the bigger the hook, gape size, the better the hookup rate. So as I explained in a couple of my other videos, the way we choose the size of hook to go with the jig is usually about the width of the body of the jig. But in this case here, as you can see, the hook is a lot bigger than the width of the jig. So in actual fact, for this, for this uh, jig here, I'd actually go even bigger. I would go something like that. So the next thing to talk about is what size length assist rig do I choose for my jig? Let's start with the smallest jig I've got here is a 150 gram Hercules uh, Cinetech jig. Um, and so I would use in this case here a two inch and that's two inches there of the assist rig. A two inch assist rig would work out really well for me. It sits down half to two thirds of the length of the jig. I wouldn't have it too much smaller than that. I think that's perfect. Um, as you can see, I've got a really big hook for that, but that is perfect in my opinion. Um, here I also have a, um, a Cinetech Trojan jig. Um, and so I would probably go with a little bit bigger uh, assist uh, rig. And in this case here, I would go with this one here. This looks like a good size to me. It's probably a two and a half inch long assist rig. And then here I have um, the DT Special. This is also a Cinetech jig. And I would go with a bit longer assist rig. In this case here, I would use a three inch size assist rig. Now how I rig this and, and trying to keep it simple, there's many ways I could rig this, but, but I've used this method and I've caught huge um, fish over my over my lifetime including big dog to tuna and so this is the method I would do most of the assist rigs come with a uh, with pre assembled with a solid ring and so I would attach that with a split ring the size of split ring I would use again I would I would measure it and have a look at it and see how it looks with the actual jig itself and so in in most of the most of the cases I would use a size eight or nine split ring. Uh, that this one here is rated to 250 pound, so that's over 100 kilo rating. Um, that to me would be perfect. And then I would simply attach that by attaching the split ring to the solid ring first. Once I've done that, I would then attach a swivel so in this case I've got a 1-0 and a 2-0 I think a 1-0 would be fine this 1-0 NT swivel which is regarded one of the best in the world if not the best is rated to 212 kilo which is a crazy rating by the way I keep all my split rings and swivels and stuff like that in a little container like this I think works out perfect and I even go to the next step and rig the swivel to the split ring so that it's ready to go and I can just rig that on quickly and easily and also too this setup here is what I would use 
to attach my lures to the leader which I'll go through in another video so here's a swivel and I would then attach that to there's the swivel attached and then I would then attach the jig to this now the beauty of the, the swivel is that if there's any twists from the jig when either retrieving at fast speed or jigging at fast speed then it's not going to go up into the main line or your leader and twist, twist that all up so that avoids that scenario it gives a strong attaching point I use on a jig like this jigging for dog tooth tuna I would use 200 pound leader I think that's a perfect size leader I wouldn't need to go any more I don't make twisted leaders I don't use doubles I don't use crimps or anything like that uh, personally I don't think you need it and I have never had any dramas I don't like to over complicate things and then I would simply just do a a, uh, a knot here that would wind up to the to the jig you see pull it up nice and tight snip that that the piece off here and that there to me is a perfectly rigged jig ready to target big pelagic fish like your dog tooth tuna spanish mackerel kingfish etc thanks for watching guys i hope that all made sense if there's any other questions always feel free to contact me but happy jigging and uh, good luck out in the water cheers thanks for watching okay so i hope you found this video interesting and maybe even informative it might have even given you some tips and tricks to help you on your next fishing adventure please don't forget to subscribe to our elite tackle youtube channel so click on the subscribe button below this video so you don't miss out on all the hot tips and tricks and secrets and even great video footage that I'm sure will help you become a better sports fishing lure angler. Now it's up to you. You're going to watch the latest video we've just put together of some awesome action of GTs being hooked up in our local waters or what about the trip we just did to Fiji chasing monster dog tuna on jigs. Let me know by leaving a comment below. Thanks for watching.